Hello, loves, and welcome back to the Power for Good podcast, a space where we talk about how people are using their power for good or not. We dive into transformation, spirituality, breath work, and so much more. I'm Christina Ray, and today I want to talk about turning 33 and my fuck it approach to life. This past December, I turned 33, and as I approached my birthday, I felt it was time for a change. It was time to reinvent myself, time to break my own rules, time to use my voice, time to stand up and scream. (laughs) People hate getting older because I think that as they age, they continue to lose parts of themselves, to make more rules. And in doing so, They're filled with grief. And then they are always looking back and always filled with nostalgia and wishing for the past, dreaming, just setting more rules with every year that comes by. But it doesn't have to be like that. Why can't every age, every day, every breath be your best? Today, I want to share with you my approach to aging, to life, and to turning 33. And that is most simply put as fuck it. Yeah. This year, I decided to just say fuck it. It's time to have fun, to speak up, to not hold anything back, and to just go for it. So here is the fuck it approach I've taken and how you can too. The first step is to really stop caring what anyone else thinks. Stop giving a fuck. No more people pleasing. You can say no and don't apologize for it. Put on the red shoes even when he said that they're ugly because you like them. I used to care so much what people think. I held on to different masks, different identities for different places and it was really fucking tiring. (laughs) And this past years, I've really just let go of that. And I just decided I'm going to be me. And I don't really care what anyone thinks about it. And the more I step into that, the lighter I feel, the more joyful I fear feel. And the more actually people like me, which is what's more surprising about the whole thing. (laughs) The next step is to speak up. Use your voice. So many times that we don't speak up in life. We don't say what we really mean because we're scared we're going to hurt someone's feelings. We're scared to ruffle the feathers. We're walking on eggshells, whatever you want to call it. But speak up and say what you really mean. Say what you really feel. And again, fuck it. Who cares if you ruffle the feathers? In the end, ultimately, if you speak your truth, everything will work out for the better. I can promise you that. Trust me, if you can, do the things that you've always wanted to do and keep doing them and find more things and do those things too. Because fuck it, why not? As I approached 33, I decided to get my lip to pierce. Mm -hmm. My bottom lip, it's something I always wanted to do. But in my head, I kept hiding this narrative of like, well... I feel like I've kind of missed the mark. Like I'm a little too old for that now, you know? It feels like something you might do like as an 18 year old. And then I'm like, why? Why do I have those thoughts? Like, is it because I'm scared of what society's going to think of me? Is it because I have my own company and I'm trying to do this? And it really, it, yeah. Who made the rules that I can't get my lip pierced? Is it the part of me that's like, I know my mom's going to be like, Ugh, Christina. Yeah, and she did. (laughs) And I don't care because it brings me joy. It's something I always wanted to do. And I'm so fucking happy I did it. I wanted to dye my hair red and blonde. And I did it too. I wanted to get hair extensions for a minute. And I did that too. I was scared that my hair was going to fall out from the hair extensions. And then I thought, fuck it. If my hair falls out, it'll grow back. We are here to live, to play, to have fun, and to try things. So why be scared of everything? 
why always be thinking of what's going to happen and this and that? And that's the way my brain has always been. I'm always overthinking everything. I'm thinking like a million miles per hour. And I'm thinking about like, well, if I do this, then that, and then my hair's going to fall out and this and that. And then it's like, and other people's problems maybe is that they don't think enough, but for me, it's the opposite, but it's a life full of fear. And so that's been my practice is letting go of that. And that practice is simply, fuck it. That's been the best thing for me, (laughs) which leads me to my next point. Be courageous. And what does that mean? Do things that are uncomfortable. Do things that are scary. Step outside the norm. Keep growing. Move. Try a new class. Speak to a new person. Go for the new job. Try a new hobby. For me, this past year, it's been horseback riding. And it continues to be something that kind of scares me. Jumping higher. I'm jumping with my horses and I'm doing competitions. Even the first competition, I was like, I didn't really get into this to do competitions, but I'm going to do it. Why not? And it was fucking scary. And I did it. And it was so much fun. And it continues to be so beautiful and so fun. And I'm building a relationship with the horse. And it was something, again, I thought, maybe I'm just going to miss that mark. I'm too old. How am I going to learn? And yet, I did it which actually leads me directly to the next point. Let go of the stigmas around age. Forget about what you think you should look like, act like, wear, and just be. Connect to what you really want. Play, dance, wear something silly every once in a while. Like I said, forever I thought, a piercing, like I had missed the mark with the piercing or tattoos, like what everyone gonna think? Even when I turned 30, I'm like, I need to change my whole wardrobe because a 30-year-old should not be wearing this. And when I started my business, I thought, okay, I'm an entrepreneur now. Now I'm a founder. I'm a leader. I need to do this. But these are all just programs. These are all just rules set by myself, by society. And who's to say I need to follow the rules? No one, just me. We literally become prisoners of our own minds. Nobody is telling us that we can't do these things. Nobody is pushing us any certain way but ourselves. So the next point is very important. Let go of the rules you have set for yourself. I remember when I first started my first company in New York, I started a company with a vision of it was going to be very innovative and flexible And then all of a sudden I found myself nine to five, nine to five going to my studio because I felt like, okay, this is how we achieve success. But I was miserable because I never wanted to work a nine to five. And then I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why am I miserable? Because you're doing exactly what you never wanted to do. (laughs) And why am I doing it? Because that is what I have programmed in my mind is success and what a successful business looks like, but it's actually not true. And so I stopped, changed it, changed it all up. And guess what? Still was able to find success. Many of us live life disconnected from our bodies, feeling out of control and reactive. We lose control of our emotions, scream at our children, the dog, our partners. And this affects our lives negatively. It hurts our relationships and ultimately it hurts us. Breathwork has been one of the most powerful rituals that I've developed in building a better relationship with myself, my body, and my emotions. Through breathwork, I'm able to move from a reactive state to a proactive state, and this has positively changed my life, my relationships, my health, my career, and ultimately led me on a healing journey. So that's why I'm so excited to announce the launch of my new platform, Ray Rituals a membership community that offers on-demand breathwork practices that you can integrate into your everyday life to energize, balance, and relax your mind and body while supporting you in healing. Through Ray Rituals, you can build a breathwork practice where you instinctually start to come back to your body and are able to process your emotions and release them. It's an unlearning of what the world has taught you to push your feelings down, to distract yourself and keep going, but instead to pause, 
to breathe, feel, and move. It's simple, it's quick, and it's effective. Join me and sign up for Ray Rituals. It's time to take your power back, one breath at a time, at rayrituals.com. Next point is it's so important to have fun. Find things in life that excite you, that get your blood pumping, that you can just say, fuck, yes. <sighs> I have so much fun horseback riding. I have so much fun dancing. And I continue to find more things that are just bringing me so much joy. Just finding joy in everyday life, smiling, screaming, skipping, acting like a child. Find things in life that bring you joy. And the last step of this fuck it approach is to be vulnerable. Open yourself to feeling all the feels, even the hurt. Have you been burned, hurt before? Have you had heartbreak? Well, fuck it. Let's get back on the horse because we're going for another ride. And that's the magic of being human. We must feel the lows to feel the highs. If you're not open to hurt, if you're not open to those lows, then you can't experience the highs. You won't experience love, the joy, the passion. You have to be open to getting back on the horse, to welcoming it all and feel it so deeply that it moves through you and it never gets stuck. Allow yourself to feel the sadness. Breathe it in and breathe it out and let it move through you. Let yourself be a human. That's the fuck it approach. This is me. This is my life. You say, it's time. It's time for me to live. Be brave. Be open. Be vulnerable. Live. Be human. Be wild. Be free. I can tell you one thing. So far, this has been the best year of my life. So say it with me now. Fuck it. Fuck it. Mm. Feels good, doesn't it? (laughs) Have a beautiful day.